Some are saying that Ice Cube's Big Three League had a terrible opening day. I'm Denise Jones, make sure to subscribe to The Fumble for all the latest news on The Big Three. Ice Cube's Big Three tournament had everyone on board the first day it was announced, but it looks like the first game wasn't what everyone expected it to be. Rumor has it that the league or network that it's going to be airing on is opting to show Sunday's game on tape delay Monday night. Many are speculating this is due to lack of attendees, but I think otherwise, man. For starters, Cube's opening night couldn't have been all that bad with the first two games both decided on winning shots in front of over 15 thousand fans let me know in the comments below if you expect the league to be genuinely good or or not too good to be fair tape delay is pretty common um, in fringe sports programming just ask any fans of darts lumberjack competitions or professional water skiing at the tip Chauncey Billups withdrew evidently to pursue a role in the Cleveland Cavaliers vacant front office but Allen Iverson was still in full attendance though he was more than a spectator than scorer on the league Iverson's team won the third game though as player coach he only put himself in for nine minutes at 42 years old the former NBA MVP said he doesn't expect to be playing heavy minutes in the 10 game season I think the best part about this game here tonight and all the other games it was exciting all throughout Iverson said it didn't need Allen Iverson the player per se <laughs> I have to say it would have been nice to see AI come out of retirement more explosive than ever, kind of like Kobe's last game. But being that he's a guy that doesn't BS, I'll take his word for it. The quality of play was spotty as players had to, you know, shake off some of the years of rust they've had, but it was certainly competitive. Though he may be the biggest name in the league, his role on the court will be minor. You can't blame him either, given the risk of injury for players way past their prime. Jason Williams, the flashy point guard nicknamed White Chocolate, went down with a right leg injury late in the opener, and Corey Maggette had to come out of the second game. Both are expected to be okay. LL Cool J and NBA All-Star James Harden were in the crowd for the first two games before Iverson, the main attraction among players, took the court following a concert. Word around town is Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett might want in on this. I have to ask, could this become that league for all retired players? Let me know in the comments below. For all the best game and sports news highlights, make sure to hit subscribe. For the fumble, I'm Denise Jones.